You too, what's happening? It's your boy Icky coming back to you with another banger reaction video. Man, I can't even cap. Y'all got me lit. We finna go to Camden. We gotta A. I gotta see what this beef is. Who it is? Active Gang, 71st, 51st, I don't know, but I'm finna watch it. Y'all all in the comments talking crazy. So I did my research. Suspect, he's a wild guy. If you ain't seen my last reaction, go check that out. Did a reaction on one of Suspect songs. Everybody loving it. But I gotta see what Suspect talking about. So let's get straight to the video. Two men have been stabbed to death in two separate attacks in Kentish Town in North London last night. The body of the first victim, believed to be in his late teens, was found a couple of hours before police discovered the second victim, who's thought to be in his 20s. Camden, the heart of fashion and culture in London, with some of the most expensive... Them the two y'all say suspect kill. Them had to be. I'm putting... Yup, yup, I'm Hip on house it. prices and biggest tourist attractions in England. And from the outside in, it looks like the perfect place to live. Well, that's what the government want to show you. Once we go deeper into the lower income estates of the borough, we start to see a different story. A story of the country's most deprived estates in London being separated from roads of millionaires literally by one street. And how these estates have created a deadly gang war which has taken over the borough in recent years. So Camden is a borough in northwest London and is very, very close to the centre of London. But despite the area being so close to the rich centre of the capital. In the last few years, the war in the area has been going brazy. So historically, unlike neighbouring areas like Is Been getting brazy? Hmm. And Brent. Camden's beef situation hasn't been as active as others, but this all changed around 2016 when a man from Camden called Merce had his watch stolen from another man from another area in Camden. After this, there was some back on- Yo, you finna tell me? All this stuff y'all been saying, telling me about, started over a watch? Nigga, they just shed it. all this blood over a watch? Nah, no way. It better been a Richie Millie. It hasn't been as active as others, but this all changed around 2016 when a man from Camden called Merce had his watch stolen from another man from another area in Camden. After this, there was some back and forth, which resulted in a big rivalry in the borough, literally between groups of kids that grew up together. One side being gangs built up from a few estates in Camden, which were the Peckwater Gang from the Peckwater Estate, the QC Gang, which were from a road in Camden called Queen's Crescent, and Combo, which is a gang made up from an estate called Regent's Park in Cumberland Market. They linked up together and called themselves 51st due to their postcodes being in NW1 and NW5 which is where the 5 and the 1 come from and from the other side of the feud we have a gang called Active Gang where some people may know from their songs and they're from the Ago Grove Estate in Camden and Active Gang are affiliated with another gang called CT1 and NRB which they all linked up and called themselves 71st and just like that the war was now on between 51st and 71st over this watch being stolen so Camden is actually you home to me? a big Somalian community do you feel me over this watch being stolen. He hit it right on the head. Come, what the? A big portion of them residing in Ager Grove, which is the territory of the 71st gang. Such a big community that the majority of 71st members are actually Somalian. And if you watched one of my previous videos on Mali Strip, Somalian people are people you don't want to be messing with, which you will understand more in this video. And this beef was on goal from early. In 2017, two members of the AG gang, which represent 71st, executed a triple shooting on three 51st members. Two of the members ran to a nearby hospital, but while hospital staff was treating the two members, they also called police to the hospital to investigate the situation. Once the two realised the police was called, they didn't even care about their treatment anymore and attempted to run out of the hospital while still having bullet wounds lodged in them. But the police ended up detaining them and arresting them after a struggle between the both. The reason they wanted to run was because all three members are actually wanted for suspicion of grievous bodily harm, which all three were eventually arrested for. Now of course, 51st weren't happy about this triple shooting and they were trying to get it back in blood. So they went lurking on the Ago Grove estate and shot a rival in the face with a shotgun. The rival actually managed to survive and make his own way back to the hospital but the hold up what's going on in camden niggas fighting over watches man got hit in the head with a shotgun how are you here today fucking they got a metal score bro run that back i gotta hear that 
in and they were trying to get her back in blood so they went lurking on the Ager Grove estate and shot a rival in the face with a shotgun the rival actually managed to survive and make his own way back to hospital but this beef really kicked off in a situation that wasn't even linked to both of the gangs so on February 2017 a 16 year old girl had an Airbnb party in Kensington West London you know those type of parties where a girl invites seven different types of gangs and asks people to leave their beef at home yeah one of those so at this party there were people from all over London there but a few uninvited guests tried to pull up to the party one of these people being a boy from 51st called Dotty and his friend who pulled up to the party with a gun and knife looking for trouble but the knight turned left for Dotty and his friend and ended up with Dotty being chased down by 20 young boys and when the boys caught up to him they stabbed him 13 times altogether which actually resulted in Dotty dying which four 16 year old boys from Hackney and Tottenham were died. sentenced and convicted unless they stabbed him in his big toe 13 stabs come on bro nigga stay alive he he a walking punching bag I don't know that turned left for Dotty and his friends and ended up with Dotty being chased down by 20 young boys. And nah, when the boys no caught they got footage of it. That's crazy. Bro, think about getting chased down by 20 niggas. You got a gun. You ain't got number 13 bullets, homie. You better scare them with 12 and save one for if one of them got a gun or something. But 20, you're doing nothing, bro. You can be a gorilla. Nah, 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 I cap. Gorilla gonna whoop all y'all ass. <laughs> People being a boy from 51st called Dotty and his friend who pulled up to the party with a gun and knife looking for trouble. 20, but the knight turned left for 20, Dotty and his friend and ended up with Dotty being chased down by 20 young boys. Nah. And when the boys caught up to him, they stabbed him 13 times altogether, which actually resulted in Dotty dying, which four 16 year old boys from Hackney and Tottenham were sentenced and convicted for. So 51st were mad about this situation, obviously, that their member Dotty was just stabbed to death. So they were out trying to get revenge. So they went. You feel me? Though? Why is you mad though, bro? Man came to the party with a gun and a knife looking for trouble. Got chased down by 20 niggas. Now your gang mad. And he just went on the other side, basically. He basically went in they hood. If it was that, if it was 20 of them, bro, you should have just, you knew, you wanted to die? You knew you, it wasn't going to end well for you, bro. I'm sorry he lost his life. But Buddy was asking for it, bro. If I see 20 rival gang members, I'm keeping my mouth shut. Unless I'm trying to die by it, you feel me? Out for revenge in a stolen BMW and travelled all the way from Camden in northwest London to Hackney in East London and then to Tottenham in North London because that's where the people who killed Dotty were from. But they ended up finding no one from both areas. But they weren't trying to go home without spilling some blood first. So 51st went all the way back to Camden to look for 71st members and found an affiliate member of 71st called AK and killed him. But they weren't done there. They were riding for a whole another two hours looking for more 71st members and found the 71st member called Mitch's little brother. Mitch's his little brother attempted to run into a cab and begged the driver to drive him to safety but the driver refused to move and he was dragged out of the cab and stabbed to death by 51st members all within two hours of their first murder they committed that night and six members were sentenced to life for these murders then on september 4th 2017 a member from 51st called flips and the older brother of the second boy who died that night called mitch bumped into each other on Hampstead road in camden and started getting into a little altercation which ended with flips stabbing mitch in his arm neck and back leaving the knife lodged into mitch's bones and murdering him. An undercover policeman just happened to witness this whole situation and ran down Phillips and arrested him. And now Phillips is serving 17 years to life for this murder. After this, the beef in Camden hold on, went hold on. 17 years to life. Does that mean 17 years and then he get out? Or 17 years and then he just keep going, you know what I'm saying? That don't make no sense to me. I heard 25 to life before, so I'm just guessing that it's the same thing, but it's just like 17, you feel me? some serious investigation by police and members from all sides started to get taken down for conspiracies firearms and drug charges and the beast started to die down a bit but then 2019 hit and quite a lot of the members that were locked up started to come out and taking in consideration that 51st members just before everyone started going in prison and killed three 71st members yeah. 71st members started coming out of prison on some demon time and were most definitely looking for revenge with no warnings the first signs that 71st was really back was on a cold tuesday in february 1 a.m in the morning a 51st member called G Squeeze was walking past the Sainsbury's in Camden when a 4x4 crashed into him and several 71st members jumped out on him like a pack of wolves, stabbing him repeatedly. Hold on, son. They hit Shorty with a car, dinged. Come on, bro, y'all. Nah, nah. US ain't got none on. Nah. UK, y'all different, bro. I give it to y'all. Y'all got my vote.
Teen left with life-changing injury. They didn't kill him? Stabbed in that. Nah. <laughs> nah, y'all some warriors, fool. For one, y'all gang activity is different. For two, how are y'all staying alive in some of these brawls, bro? Shotgun to the head. It was ran over with a 4x4. Four four. This nigga got hit with a got dog on. Toyota 4Runner. And stabbed in the head. Still alive. Come on, bro. Y'all either pray before y'all go on missions or y'all praying after, like, the niggas get... Y'all praying hard. That's all I know. Y'all close to God, for sure. But y'all far away, too, because y'all some demons. Head and body. Leaving him literally paralyzed and not being able to walk. But that wasn't enough for 71st members. Nah, they wanted true. someone dead for their friends. So on April 1st, 2019, a suspected member of 51st called C. Miz and his cousin were walking down Grafton Road in Gospel Oak Camden. When four 71st members jumped out a stolen black car and started chasing them, C. Miz and his cousin split up. But unfortunately, the men who jumped out of the car locked on to C. Miz. And C. Miz ended up dropping to the ground when the 71st members started to stab him repeatedly with machetes and then run from the scene. After this murder, 71st members made a song called Congo. And the reason why they called it Congo is because C. Miz was actually a refugee from Congo after him and his family fled the war from over there. And members repeatedly in their songs say that they get their weed from Congo, not Cali. Pretty much just trying to say that they're smoking on C. Miz. And as I said before, the majority of these 71st members are Somalian. So after all this, there was news going about in Camden that 51st members were out on the lurk and any Somalian they see, they're killing heard some really strong intelligence that there is going to be revenge for Calvin's killing and his friends. Grow wealth automatically Fuck this with trading Get out of my two face. one two. Start with Trying to see what Camden talking about. Fifty first, seventy first. Fuck this ad. Move, man. Thank you. Oh, so I've literally said see, like they are going to go out. Heard some really strong intelligence that there is going to be revenge for Calvin's killing and his friends are so i've literally said they are going to go out and kill any somali in retaliation so i just want to make ain't gonna cap and they meant it these niggas are steppers chicago nah chicago crazy but nah i say i say they worse in chicago because they getting blood on their hand you know what i'm saying it's different to shoot somebody i've never shot nobody i ain't even gonna act like i have Shooting somebody can't be as hard as stabbing somebody, though, bro. You literally, you feel me? Your hand in that blood as soon as you hit them. It's like, bro, come on. These, they different, bro. Y'all got it. I'm telling you. That really clear. This is from a young Somali woman in Camden who's 24 years old. And um, basically, they are, basically, we... Um, strongly suspect they're going to go out tonight and kill a Somali. Which is probably a bit of a stretch. But on the other hand, 71st members kept saying that they're warring with Jalees, which is basically the Somalian word for West African people. Because you have to remember, despite Somalians being dark-skinned and African, a lot of Somalians don't really see themselves the same as other black people. So this was kind of turned into a race war between Somalian and black people in Camden, which is just all wrong for so many reasons. But 71st weren't happy enough with the killing of C. Miz. They wanted to spill more blood. So August 12, 2019, Six members started circling the states of 51st members in a stolen Ford Fiesta and a stolen Sierra. When they spotted 16 year old culprit and other members coming out of a restaurant around 10 30 pm, culprit and other members ran to a nearby set of blocks near Houston Road. But 71st members found them later on that night and three members jumped out and chased them down, catching up to the 16 year old 51st member called culprit. Culprit was running for his life and literally screaming for help, banging on neighbors' doors to let him in so he could escape his attackers. But when the 71st members caught up to him, two 71st members held him, while a third member repeatedly pushed a one foot long zombie killer knife through his chest while it was coming out of his back. And when the 71st members were done, the killers were said to be running away after laughing hysterically, which is what biased that. Did y'all just see that knife? And that was the zombie knife suspect was talking about? Wait. Was this the one that suspect did? Nah. Nah. Ain't no way. Did y'all see that nice story? Screaming for help, banging on neighbors' doors to let him in so he could escape his attackers. But when the 71st members caught up to him, we two 71st this. members held him while a third member repeatedly pushed a one foot long zombie. Look at the knife, bro. Ain't no way. Ain't no way an H E double hockey stick, bro. Nigga, think about through your chest, bro. Nah, bro. 
killing that for nah. his chest while it was nah, coming it, out of this his back. I mean, and when the seventy first members were done, whatever it's like, said you can't run away after Disney. laughing hysterically, which is what bystanders said. And culprit, he was just any normal kid from London. He was talented at football and even had trials for Southampton Football Club, but started getting involved in the local gang and brushed aside his yeah, football bro, and unfortunately became a victim streets, of the streets. Bro. Now, as these back and forth normally go, 51st were now looking for revenge on their recent L's and there were many stabbings across the month. And early on in September, there was a case of three killings in five days in Camden. One of these being a man from a completely different area all the way in East London, but unfortunately he was walking at the wrong place at the wrong time. So he was actually walking on Queen's Crescent Estate, which is a hotspot for 51st members, and was shot and killed in a drive-by, being mistaken for a 51st member. Just an hour before, another woman was stabbed to death just a few hundred yards from the situation. And four days later, a 71st member called Nuts was stabbed to death by a gang of 51st members with machetes. Outside one of the busiest areas in London, Camden Tube Station. And for the longest, a lot of people didn't even know all this stuff was going on, until a 71st member called Suspect started jumping on the drill scene, calling himself the Camden Grim Reaper, and releasing some of the most disrespectful tunes towards his ops. So much that police take down pretty much any song that the gang uploads, which really started to bring some attention to what's happening down there, and definitely got the attention of me, do you especially- know, Do you know how much motion you got for the police to take down your song? The police taking it down because you got that much motion in your city. Come on, bro. This nigga suspect. They, I see that's a big thing, though. They never showing their face. Like, I think I've seen a couple faces, but it's about somebody that's, like, tweaking. Like, you know what I'm saying? Nah. Grim Reaper and releasing some of the most disrespectful tunes towards his ops. So much that police take down pretty much any song that the gang uploads, which really started to bring some attention to what's happening down there and definitely got the attention of me. Especially a song from Suspect called Dugout, which is probably one of the most disrespectful songs I've ever heard and really makes you deep how tapped this whole beef is. In one of his lines, he says, Same place we used to play run outs, the same place his chest got dug out. Same place I was telling you play out, it's the same place I'm telling you come out. Which really makes you think, damn, these guys were close friends at one time and now they're trying to kill each other nah, all stemming crazy. from a little small altercation that happened a couple years back but anyway guys that's it for today's video and peace out y'all diffy bro cross that water you ain't gotta worry about it. i might not ever touch the uk now i'm scared machetes come on bro zombie knives all that y'all is stepping different but that last line was crazy same place I used to tell you come out and play was the same place your chest got dug out. Come on, bro. <sighs> Niggas ain't got no heart. Y'all told me to do some suspect. I got some suspect coming, man. I'm going to definitely keep tapping in with my UK community. Appreciate y'all for clicking on this. Don't forget to leave a like. If you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel. But it's your boy Icky, and I'm out.